Um, with everybody, this is Michael Leveres from Jurisky.com with Alexei Fagan, an attorney at Basikas and Associates, a medical malpractice attorney. Alexei, uh, we talked before about uh, medical practice, uh, what is necessary to bring a claim for medical practice, and you can follow that interview on jurisq.com or our Facebook page. But tell me, uh, what are the different types of uh, cases? What do you see out there in your practice? Uh, sure, uh, Michael, there are uh, a myriad of uh, medical malpractice cases that uh, we see, but uh, a lot of the cases that we see is typically a failure to diagnose. And the failure to diagnose that we do see is unfortunately a failure to diagnose cancer. It could be mm -hmm. a failure to diagnose a breast cancer by missing something on a mammogram or on a sonogram. It can be a uh, failure to diagnose a colon cancer or a right. stomach cancer. And those are the types of cases that we, we see, uh, unfortunately, quite often, and we prosecute those types of cases. Mm -hmm. Other types of cases are uh, surgical mishap cases okay. where during surgery, certain things may uh, may happen, which should not happen in those types of cases we see as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about um, cases in uh, nursing homes? What can go wrong there? Uh, nursing home cases, what we do see uh, a lot is uh, a failure to properly supervise residents. Oftentimes, these are residents that have certain uh, comorbidities, uh, mental infirmities, Okay. perhaps dementia or Alzheimer's. So they require and special care, huh? They require special care. And if you don't provide that special care by supervision, uh, by making sure that there are perhaps bed alarms, these uh, patients may fall, may sustain uh, fractures, uh, hip fractures, pelvic fractures, as well as ulcer uh, development by uh, the failure on the part of the nursing staff in not maneuvering them, not repositioning them in a timely manner, resulting in skin breakdown. So I imagine the same thing would go for home attendants, because they're also are responsible for the care of a sick person or an elderly person in their care, and uh, mishaps can happen there as well. That's correct. Uh, we see quite often, um, and we're contacted by uh, family members of uh, loved ones who have uh, home attendants who they entrust their loved ones to, uh, who are either left unattended, uh, who perhaps uh, leave earlier than they ought to leave um, during their shift, resulting in uh, the uh, elderly falling and sustaining uh, right. fractures that are so debilitating that oftentimes they ultimately succumb to those of types of injuries. Right. And again, in, uh, as an attorney, you can uh, get compensation from the insurance companies that are covering these uh, medical professionals to uh, cover all this pain and suffering that uh, your client sustained. That's correct. Um, the uh, professional, uh, whether it be the uh, doctors or the nursing homes or the uh, home attendant agencies, they carry professional insurance uh, for uh, any type of uh, negligence that right. uh, may uh, take place. And under those circumstances, when we do bring a lawsuit, it's the insurance company that typically will hire defense attorneys and right. cases will either get resolved by verdict or by a settlement with the insurance company uh, paying those compensations. So the takeaway here is that if you're in doubt, if you have or your loved one suffered some kind of uh, injury that you think is as a result of a medical professional, you should not be ashamed or hesitate, reach out to an attorney like yourself for a consultation and you could uh, evaluate the case and see whether there's a basis to bring a lawsuit uh, for which uh, insurance company most likely is going to cover it. 
That's correct. Uh, most of the time, clients contact us not really knowing what happened. They right. know that they've been injured. They know that their loved one passed away. They contact me to try to answer questions for them as to whether or not their injury or the, the, their loved one's death may have been preventable, but for someone's negligence. Right. And that's where we review the medical records in, yeah, in, that's consultation, yeah. in consultation with uh, uh, various medical experts. And we're able to give answers, not only to the family members, to the loved ones, to the injury victims, but also bring a measure of compensation if yeah. that is warranted. Yeah. I mean, look, it is very unfortunate if somebody sustained an injury. However, the next step, let's be practical about it, is try to get uh, compensation. If you're legally entitled, you may as well find out for free if you could get compensation. Uh, okay, Alexei, this was very uh, informative. I thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, please follow us more and further on jurisq.com, on our uh, Facebook page, YouTube, Instagram. You're going to see a lot more useful, free legal advice from attorneys such as Alexei Fagan from Masikas Associates. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you for having me.